तो पीडीपी इन जम्मू कश्मीर एंड दे हैव अ वेरी डिफरेंट एजेंडा पीडीपी इज वेरी क्लियर 370 मस्ट स्टे फॉरएवर एंड दे टॉक अबाउट ऑटोनॉमी ऑफ जम्मू कश्मीर बीजेपी इज एक्सट्रीमली अगेन बट येट बीजेपी फॉर्मड अ कोलिशन गवर्नमेंट इन जम्मू कश्मीर विद पीडीपी बोथ आर पोलर अपोजिट इन डिमांड बीजेपी हैज डिफरेंट एजेंडा पीडीपी हैज डिफरेंट एजेंडा बट येट दे केम टुगेदर टू फॉर्म अ गवर्नमेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड कॉमन मिनिमम प्रोग्राम कॉमन मिनिमम मींस you cannot agree with my point i cannot agree with your point but we can agree on some points so we decide we will not do anything on those point only do on some points yes good morning everyone chale then shuru karte hain First we have is one nation, one election. It's a proposal uh, which did not appear very feasible, but now it appears. So there was a high level, high level committee, a high level committee headed by the former president Ramnath Kovind on the concept of one nation, one election presented its finding to President Draupadi Murmu. Governance me the constitutional bodies and uh, आपका पॉलिसीज दे डू कम इन दिल्लिम्स आई आर में बेसिकली जोग्राफिकल बेस क्वेश्चन जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल हमास वॉर इज गोइंग ऑन तो यू नीड टू नो वट इज हमास विच एरिया इज बिलोंग टू नियर बाय रीजन एनी रिवर एनी इंपॉर्टेंट माउंटेन दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू पी सी आस्क इन पिल्लिम्स तो आई आर में मोरली रिलेटेड टू जोग्राफिकल एंड एनी पॉलिसी फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ न्यू टी टी इंडिया साइन टू रिमेंबर द नेम ऑफ द ट्रीटी डिटेल्स की जरूरत नहीं है डिटेल्स तो वी कैन डू लेटर दिस काइंड ऑफ फ्यू थिंग्स आर रिक्वायर्ड बाकी खास आता नहीं आया यार में प्रीलिम्स में मेंस में तो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यस काइंड ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स अ काइंड ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स बट लार्जली कोई इफ देयर इज अ ट्रीटी और समथिंग बिकॉज़ द अंडरस्टैंड मेजॉरिटी ऑफ आईआर इज ऑलरेडी कंटिन्यूइंग व्हाट यू सी इज एन अपडेट व्हेदर द इशू हैज बीन रिजॉल्व और नॉट और न्यू इशू हैज बीन मेड दैट इज व्हाट करंट अफेयर्स अबाउट लेकिन बाकी ज्यादा कुछ है नहीं गवर्नेंस आई आर इज मेजरली मेन्स रिलेटेड टॉपिक हाँ सो हाई लेवल कमिटी वॉज फॉर्म बाय फॉर्म बाय द गवर्नमेंट हेल्ड बाय द फॉर्मर प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया रामनाथ कोविंद ही हेज सबमिटेड द रिपोर्ट टू द करेंट प्रेसिडेंट द्रौपदी मुर्मू वट इज द हिस्टोरिकल कॉन्टेक्स्ट इफ यू लुक एट द वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन इट वॉज अ स्टैंडर्ड प्रैक्टिस अंटिल वेरी क्रुशियल इन Because 1967, for the first time, the Congress lost majority in the 13 states. It highlighted a significant change in India's politics. The change was that India has moved away from one-party system. What is party system? Party system means the parties with systemic relevance, not the parties who are fighting election. The parties with systemic relevance. Means the parties having the capacity of forming the government. Or breaking the government example bjp congress so national level pe you can say largely if say for example nobody votes to any party except bjp congress to hum kya keh sakte hain india is a two party system but abhi india two party nahi hai india is a multi party system but for two times constantly bjp has won with majority if it wins the third time also with absolute majority then you can say kind of india is moving toward again one party system so india had a one party system until 1967 the one party was congress it was in power both in the union as well as in the all the state governments the absolute power was under the command of congress nobody could match congress after that congress power started diluting 1967 particularly the peak of congress power outside nehruvian era is rajiv gandhi Indira Gandhi was assassinated. Rajiv Gandhi got the absolute majority, highest majority. Of, I think three eighty something. Jata mujhe pata. The BJP is this year is targeting to match that. But who actually came? Because Indira Gandhi was assassinated. People were a bit sentimental, so they voted in favor of Congress. Apart from that, if you uh, leave that period of Indira Gandhi and Rajiv Gandhi, so largely you can say India has been a multi-party democracy. A with multi-party comes problem. The biggest problem is. elections why i am saying election is a problem because election is a common sense of democracy problem is there are too many elections in india 
every few weeks there is election every few months there is election every year there is election in some state or other state there are two kind of problems the biggest problem it has is for the union government state ka issue nahi aata for example aapki state mein himachal pradesh mein for example you have election this year then after 5 years karnataka mein election this year then after 5 years so for 5 years you don't worry much lekin central government is a concern तो देखिए सेंटर डिपेंड्स अपॉन द वोट ऑफ एवरीवन उनके लिए तो कर्नाटका वोट आर एज इंपॉर्टेंट एज द हिमाचल वोट आपके लिए इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं होगा योर फॉर यू द ओनली हिमाचल वोट्स मैटर फॉर कर्नाटका ओनली कर्नाटका वोट्स मैटर बट फॉर यूनियन गवर्नमेंट ऑल वोट मैटर्स अ प्रॉब्लम इज दैट यू वॉन इलेक्शन बाय एब्सोल्यूट मेजोरिटी इट मींस द पीपल हैव गिवन यू मैंडेट टू रूल द गवर्नमेंट और कंट्रोल दिस कंट्री एज पर योर मैनिफेस्टो Uh, what was the issue? The issue was that uh, union government has a problem. You have a government. You have to run five years every day. now and then. There is election in UP, Bihar, Karnataka. There, here, there. So you are every time you have to be very cautious what you do because you cannot make anyone angry. State को ऐसा problem नहीं है. You have won the election for five years. You are free. Now you do whatever you want because after five years election will take place. clear so in that context we are studying this because modi government is very concerned here i won the election but yet there is a there is election here there here there i am unable to pursue my policy they say for example up bihar mein when elections were there modi government stopped a policy of privatization for few period privatization as soon as the election were over immediately government passed an order on foreign direct investment in companies इलेक्शन खत्म हुआ एक घंटे में ऑर्डर आ गया तो गवर्नमेंट वाज वेटिंग बिकॉज़ गवर्नमेंट न्यू इफ आई अलाउ एफडीआई फॉरेन डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट इन कॉर्पोरेशन तो पीपल ऑफन सी इट इज अ एजेंडा ऑफ सेलिंग इंडिया दे सी यू आर प्राइवेटाइजिंग एवरीथिंग तो गवर्नमेंट नहीं चाहती थी यूपी बी क्योंकि यूपी बिहार में गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स अ सेंसिटिव टॉपिक बाकी जगह पे इतना ना हो यूपी बिहार में इट्स वेरी सेंसिटिव सो गवर्नमेंट वेटेड कि लेट द इलेक्शन ओवर देन आई विल डू द पॉलिसी बट ये दिस इज नॉट द मैंडेट The mandate was for five years, not for two months. But every two months, you have to adjust your policy. So, government wants that why shouldn't we have one election? There will be one election in the entire country, as it used to happen in the beginning. People will vote for everyone. Means they will vote for MLA, MP at the same time. Okay, so that is what we have. As I told you, nineteen sixty-seven, that everything ran smooth. Nineteen sixty-seven, that thirteen state, that the Congress lost majority and the Era of multi-party democracy starts in India. By 1968, 1969, number of state legislature were dissolved. President rule, this rule, that rule, and this drama kept on happening. Particularly, uh, this continued. So, the simultaneous election basically lost its sync. Initially, the state and union election used to happen one time. People used to choose all the state governments and the union government at the same time. But over time, they went out of sync because state government were abolished earlier, later, and then 1979 onwards, there was a coalition era in the center. No party for 10 years, 1979 to last back 1989, no party was able to form a stable government. Sorry, 1989 to 1999, no party was able to form a stable government. Like for example, Vajpayee is very popular government. It ran only for 17 days. Central government, it was 17 days. Chali gir gayi. So this kind of drama was happening. So 17 days government, 20 days government. That was the problem of multi-party democracy. Problem is clear because we were new. The point new thing is that I told you when there is a new value, you take time to imbibe that value. So this multi-party democracy, coalition democracy was a new to us. So we did not behave properly. Over time, we developed sensibility. Something we call common minimum program. आपने सुना होगा अभी तुम्हें talks about when you run in a coalition. अब से फॉर एग्जाम्पल बीजेपी इन अ कोलिशन विद क्या बोलते हैं उसे पीडीपी इट्स इन जम्मू कश्मीर महबूबा मुफ्ती तो पीडीपी इन जम्मू कश्मीर एंड दे हैव अ वेरी डिफरेंट एजेंडा पीडीपी इज वेरी क्लियर थ्री सेवेंटी मस्ट स्टे फॉर एवर एंड दे टॉक अबाउट अटोनमी ऑफ जम्मू कश्मीर बीजेपी इज एक्सट्रीमली अगेन बट येट बीजेपी फॉर्म द कोलिशन गवर्नमेंट इन जम्मू कश्मीर विद पीडीपी बोथ आर पोलर अपोजिट इन डिमांड bjp has different agenda pdp has different agenda but yet they came together to form a government that is called common minimum program common minimum means you cannot agree with my point i cannot agree with your point but we can agree on some points 
So we decide we will not do anything on those points, only do on some points. A very good cool gap. So clear hai? So these are the reason that uh, simultaneous selection are often sought. The common minimum program came in, all drama happened. Ultimately, there was a uh, first proposal came in 1983. Uh, there was an election commission annual report. Election commission or all the bodies in India you will do in governance. Every single body, election commission, national commission for scheduled cars, scheduled drive, all these bodies, they publish annual report. In annual report, they write down what they achieved in this year. Whatever cases they pick, whatever they did not pick, what is that? Everything is mentioned in annual report and every institution publishes that. They are given to the president and president then put that into the parliament. It's the indirect way of these bodies telling the people what we did. Through parliament, you people get to know what these bodies did in their previous year. So in the annual report of 1983, election commission for the first time thought about simultaneous election. Then law commission report in 1999 talked about the same thing. Then ultimately 2017, Niti Ayo, they prepared a rough charter. Lastly, 2018, the law commission emphasized Clear? So this is the demand. So you can say from 1980s, there was a demand of simultaneous election. But it has not picked pace. Why? I told you the reason. Because Modi government is an absolute government and Modi feels frustrated a lot of time. I want to do something, I cannot. Because this state has election, that state has election. So I don't want that kind of dramas. Finally, let's see what is the recommendation. The committee's recommendation is we can have election from 2029 they can be simultaneous election. Or what is the proposal? He suggested that we have to amend, we have to bring at least 18 amendments to the constitutions and other laws. Electoral laws, representation of people at type of laws and the constitution, we have to bring at least 18 amendments. And how the process will go? Let's see. First step. Create Article 82A. Under Article 82A, you will amend the constitution and introduce a new language that is article 82 a what this article will say this article will say that the president of india will have the power to specify a date for simultaneous election the well, president under the authority of article 82 a will specify a date let's assume that president specify a date of 2029 means this will be your last lok sabha without simultaneous election. Next election of 2029 will be based on simultaneous election. If this recommendation is accepted, abhi accept hogi ya nahi hogi, abhi nahi pata, because koi government is vakt nahi. After election, hume pata lagne wala iska kya hoga. Chances hai, the Moody government is likely to accept. Because ye pura agenda hi isi banaya gaya hai. Okay? Second stage. The second stage mein, there will be a synchronity of municipal and Panchayat election with Lok Sabha and Assembly within 100 days, kaise hoga? What we will do? We will abolish. We will put a time limit of every state. Ki sab ke election kab honge? Let's say you chose a government in 2017. 2027. Let's say there is an election of Karnataka in 2027. So that government will run for how many years? Two years only. Take one time major lagega isme. Otherwise, kaise karenge? For a one time major, President first will notify the date. Second, all the state legislature will expire on that date, including the union legislature. Chances is the state may contest that in the in Supreme Court of India. Okay, yes, the logic they may put is why we, why not the union government is all worldly? They may raise a question, but if you want to have simultaneous election, then as a one-time measure, you must abolish the governments within the cutoff date. So that is the thing. But what should this be for? Amendment to constitution that require ratification by at least. Because under Article 368 of the constitution, Article 368 of the constitution says, if there is any amendment to the constitution in which the interest of the states are involved, it must be ratified by at least half of the state by simple majority. So how this will work? 
गवर्नमेंट विल पुट अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट इन लोकसभा और राज्यसभा जहां भी पुट करेंगे इट विल पास बाय लोकसभा एंड राज्यसभा बाय टू थर्ड ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट एंड वोटिंग प्लस फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ टोटल स्ट्रेंथ दैट इज स्पेशल मेजोरिटी इट विल बी पास इन बोथ हाउसेज देन इट विल गो टू द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड देन एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द स्टेट मस्ट रेटिफाई बाय सिंपल मेजोरिटी मीन्स मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट प्रेजेंट एंड वोटिंग देन इट विल गो टू द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया विल साइन दैट अमेंडमेंट and with that process this with that signing this process will come into being clear ab ek chhota sa problem aata hai chaliye maan lete hain you abolish all governments and ultimately 2029 mein there will be single election what is the guarantee the government will continue forever let's say karnataka dissolves by 2030 so 2029 mein same election will happen 2030 mein karnataka dissolves then would you not have elections there The proposal here is yes. अभी क्या होता है? Whenever a government is dissolved, means whenever the legislature cannot form the government, new elections happen for five years. इस बार ऐसा नहीं होगा. The remaining of the time. अब क्या होगा? Whenever a government will fall in between of the term, new elections will happen, but only for the remainder of the term. जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी वन दैट इज आफ्टर टू इयर्स ऑफ इलेक्शन कर्नाटका गवर्नमेंट फेल तो वट विल हैपन न्यू गवर्नमेंट विल बी चोजन बट ओनली फॉर रिमेनिंग थ्री इयर्स हाउ एवर इट हेज अ ग्रे एरिया बिकॉज देखिए इट्स अ प्रपोजल वेन यू विल इम्प्लीमेंट दिस देन इट विल शो अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम यू विल रेटिफाई दैट A problem that I see is what will happen when only few period is left. Just for example, one year. Let's say four year has passed, the government dissolves. Now only one year is left. There is no sense of re-choosing entire legislature for one year. उस समय में क्या होगा? For one year, would there be a president rule, or would there be a caretaker government? What will happen there is not clear. First thing. Second thing. What will happen to Lok Sabha if Lok Sabha dissolves? Would we dissolve all the states? So there are some functional problems, but they are not a very far-fetched problem. We will see it later. For now, the proposal is that president will notify a date, and on that date, all the state legislatures will be abolished for one-time measure. One time, we have to do it as a one-time measure, and after that, all will have simultaneous election. If any government after simultaneous election dissolves in between, then a new legislature will be chosen, but only for the remainder of the term. That's how you can have election at a definite date. So, आपको पहले दिन पता होगा when the election will again happen. Clear? No five years drama. So, this is the proposal. Let's see whether they accept or not. ये सब देख लेना. अब there are two new reforms here. There was a suggestion because I told you government can dissolve in between also, and the new legislature will be chosen for the remainder period, not for the full five length period. जो अभी होता है, अभी क्या होता है? Whenever the government dissolves, चाहे सात दिनों चाहे सात सौ दिनों, the new government is created for the five years entirely. That will not happen any longer. So there was a suggestion. Why shouldn't we use German model? What is this German model? Germany has a model because they have suffered the Hitler era. उनको एक बात समझ में आ गई थी that when there is no government or when there is instability, political instability, there is a fundamental weakness among the human beings. We often choose dictator in power. The weakness humans have is whenever we are in a crisis, we often look toward alpha male. We look toward a person who is strong man. Who may be a dictator, but who can exude confidence? From some of the problem, we like a person who exudes confidence. We like vocal idiots than silent intellectuals. Introvert, कितना arrogant है ये? Extrovert, ये बंदा अच्छा है. This common problem we all have. That's a fundamental weakness of primates. That's why we are very bad at choosing leaders. We often choose dictators in power. Hitler हो चाहे और कोई हो. All these people have risen in democracies, and they experience Hitler's time. So to avoid that, they brought a new mechanism. The mechanism is, if there is a government and there is a no confidence motion, no confidence motion means when you say this government does not enjoy majority in the house. 
in germany if you introduce no confidence motion along with that you have to introduce a resolution saying we have alternative available india mein aisa nahi hai india mein kya hai you can introduce no confidence motion matlab opposition can introduce no confidence motion whenever they desire they do not have to state any reason in india mein there is no reason required for no confidence and the speaker of the house <coughs> cannot deny accepting no confidence wo mana bhi nahi kar sakta if you introduce no confidence the speaker must accept it there is no condition of saying no so there is no requirement of reason in india mein kya hai no reason is required for no confidence and no speaker can deny it and that's why opposition often use it for criticism of the government because all the other resolution you will study that in politics there are a lot of resolutions resolution means opinion paper there is a paper i will write something it will express my opinion so i will call that paper resolution clear resolution resolution is a opinion paper so parliament may whatever you do the speaker has the power to decide whether to admit or not this is one single motion this is one single tool in which the speaker has no powers advantage because speaker always belong to the majority party and they run as a agent of the majority party always kehte honge hum autonomous hai par they are the stooges of the majority party the state or the center ab you want to criticize for example modi government for corona speaker will never accept your motion to discuss corona because if you discuss corona you will say things and parliament may everything goes on record everything so the solution is no confidence motion because speaker cannot deny accepting no confidence motion introduce it and then discuss whatever you like and everything you say in parliament goes on record it's recorded forever clear this much so this was a proposal but this commission has rejected this so india may the same scenario will prevail anyone can introduce no confidence whenever they want no reasons are required the speaker cannot deny accepting the resolution and you can discuss anything under the sun in no confidence जबकि जर्मनी में ऐसा नहीं होता जर्मनी में इफ यू इंट्रोड्यूस नो कॉन्फिडेंस यू मस्ट शो दैट यू हैव इसमें लिखा है क्या दैट्स व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड कंस्ट्रक्टिव वोट ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टिव मींस यू वांट टू डिस्ट्रॉय द प्रेजेंट गवर्नमेंट बट यू हैव अल्टरनेटिव अवेलेबल इफ यू कैन नॉट शो दैट यू डोंट हैव अल्टरनेटिव सो योर नो कॉन्फिडेंस इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेड तो इंडिया में वी हैव रिजेक्टेड दिस फाइन next because they will be single election so they will be single electoral id common sense abhi kya hota you have two electoral rules you have a national electoral rule for lok sabha and you have a state electoral rule dono alag alag hote hain ab kya hoga they will be only single electoral so advantage is pe dekhte hain pehla advantage it will be efficient single election in 15 years single election 15 year very efficient अभी क्या होता है यू हैव टू स्पेंड करोड़ रुपीस ऑन नंबर ऑफ इलेक्शंस इलेक्शन कमीशन स्पेंड हमारा तो पैसा खर्च करती है वो इट स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ मनी तो सिंगल इलेक्शन विल बी इकोनॉमिकली फिजिबल सेकंड इट विल बी आल्सो स्टेबल बिकॉज यू नो व्हेन द गवर्नमेंट स्टार्ट व्हेन द गवर्नमेंट एंड्स इकोनॉमिकली फिजिबल प्रोडक्टिव स्टेबल वोटर्स के लिए भी आसान होता वोटर फटीक विल नॉट बी देयर ऑफन क्या होता है वोटर हैव डू नॉट लाइक वोटिंग वेरी मच दे see it holiday barbad ho raha hai hamara so often what they do is if you ask them to vote more than once they don't vote this that is what happens in by elections by election matlab you are chosen on a seat or say for example the person dies disqualified or sticketed so seat become vacant so on that seat only elections happen again known as by elections a by election mein people don't participate Because they are already fatigued by single voting. एक बार वोट करने से ज़्यादा उन्हें पसंद नहीं है. So advantage क्या है? Single voting आपके लिए भी convenience है. Only one date you have to go. Economy के लिए भी convenience है. Politics के लिए भी convenience है. Then what is the problem? Problem is diluting forever accountability. <coughs> जैसे इंग्लैंड में कहा जाता है, जैसे लॉक है said that Britishers are free once in a five year. He said that Britishers are free once in a five year. what is freedom freedom means right to choose when you can choose what you want so once in a five year you can choose whom who will rule over you but once you chose once you have chosen 
that for five years you have to bear with that person. चाहे पसंद हो चाहे ना पसंद हो सो यू आर फ्री ओनली वर्स इन फाइव ईयर सेम प्रोसेस विल कम हियर अभी क्या वी आर फ्री फॉर एवर एवरी नाउ एंड एवरी ईयर दे इज इलेक्शन सो सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इज वेरी कंसर्न so it may not become dictatorish for example you choose a government after second year it do something you don't like so what you will do in a state election you will defeat that government unse they will get a reality check acha ye bura laga so they will reverse the policy very good example farm laws prime example hai modi government was hell bent ki kuch bhi kar lo wapas de lenge then up elections came unhone kaha sorry tum to bura maan gaye UP election mein Modi government knew very well if we do not take back the farm laws we will lose UP. Jabki general elections are far, but UP elections over there. So because of UP election, Modi government withdrew the farm laws. So this is you can say perennial accountability. By having non-simultaneous election, you have a perennial accountability. A government cannot become too big to downsize. Clear? So there are argument on both sides. आप pro में भी है, anti में भी है. As such, I feel there is no problem. आप इसे कर सकते हैं. Except if there is proper liberty to protest, तो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता. If you can protest, you can raise your voice, तो कोई tension नहीं. हाँ, अगर वो नहीं है, तो tension है. बाकी तो मुझे पता नहीं कुछ. ठीक है. Anyway, clear this much? चलिए, this is what I have for you. Small news थी. बाकी everything I have discussed. Let's come to the next news. This is a bit important in terms of IR. The so previous one was with respect to polity and governance. This one is IR, UNSC reforms, and the resolution on Hamas war. So they, they were two news. I have clubbed them together to understand how the UNSC works. There is something I hope. थोड़ा सा आपको याद होगा. The starting point यार लिख देता हूँ मैं. The starting point of international relation is Treaty of Westphalia. The present order of international relations, sixteen forty-eight. This is considered as a starting point of international relation, as you see today, because this treaty laid the foundation of what you call today modern nations, something we call territorial state. This treaty laid this foundation, territorial states. वाइड टेरिटोरियल स्टेट ये पहले भी मैंने कई बार बताया है द रीजन वॉज कैपिटलिज्म कैपिटलिज्म कोर ऑफ कैपिटलिज्म इज कैपिटल और प्रॉफिट कैपिटलिज्म रन ऑन प्रॉफिट और प्रॉफिट और कैपिटल लेट से आई हैव अ फैक्ट्री टूडे देर इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल मुगल एम्पायर तो आई हैव अ फैक्ट्री इन दिल्ली एंड देर इज अ मुगल एम्पायर हेयर सो वेन आई ले फैक्ट्री ऑफकोर्स आई विल हैव सम परमिट्स some licenses from the sovereign who is the sovereign right now mughal tomorrow there is maratha after there some ms abdali is coming from the northwest i have no clarity over my contract i have a factory i have laid the factory i have made investment i have risk a lot of things so i want to get some profit out of it today there is mughal empire tomorrow there is maratha empire then ms abdali is coming from northwest doing this drama then britishers are coming There is no clarity over sovereign. What is the guarantee that my agreement with Mughal will be obeyed by the Marathas? What is the guarantee that Maratha agreement will be obeyed by the Britishers? So, with the change of sovereign, I am unsure who is my true leader. So, what I did, I fixed borders. Now there is clarity. Government may change, but state will remain the same. I know what is the boundary of government India, state of India, government, state of India. I know what is the boundary of state of India. It will never change. Of course, there is a war or very rare who is that? Like Ukraine, me, was. But generally, today, borders of the state do not change. Government can change, but state will remain the same. Matlab, if today I have laid a factory in Delhi, and I have signed a license or I have got a license from Modi government. ऐसा नहीं होगा कल कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट आएगी तो मेरा लाइसेंस कैंसिल हो जाएगा ऐसा नहीं हो सकता तो जो अडानी को एयरपोर्ट मिला है वो वापस नहीं आने वाला ठीक है अंडरस्टैंड दिस बिकॉज इट हैज बीन अग्रीड बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया मोदी हैपन्स टू बी द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ये अग्रीमेंट मोदी से नहीं हुआ है किससे हुआ है गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया से हुआ है एंड द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया विल ओबे दिस 
If they have to remove this, then okay, void drama. I will go to Supreme Court and all drama. Clear? So the foundation of international relations starts with Treaty of Westphalia, creation of territorial nation states. This is called Westphalian notion of sovereignty. But we call this Westphalian notion of sovereignty. It means territorial states are sovereign. They are supreme over everything. Religion, language, identity, everything is subordinate. State is supreme. If tomorrow Parliament of India, say for example, if tomorrow Parliament of India wants to abolish Hinduism, can it? Uh, can it abolish Hinduism if it wants? Sorry? Protest kar denge, dekh lenge ab logo toh. Legally speaking, can it? Secular religion to don't allah lagot hai. Legally speaking, it can. Kya ban ab kabhi samjha hai? Who is sovereign? State is sovereign. That there was a 30 year war between the church and the state. Led by the king and the queens. Or man ab kabhi sa samjha hai? You can criticize Christianity as much as you like. But the modernity you enjoy, this TV, this panel, everything is because of Christianity. We call modernity as a gift of Christianity. Because Christian may, there are two parts. One is called Orthodox, one is called Protestant. Protest se bana, Protestant. Yeah, Protestant se bana, Protestant. <laughs> Basically, these were the people who challenged the church. They said, you will not command us what we will do. The God and I have a personal connection. Something in India you call Bhakti movement. You will study that in art and culture. India India, there was a Bhakti movement that emphasized that this God men, the priestly class, these Brahmins, they are intermediary. They are nothing. Bhakti ka matlab hota hai, a personal connection between a God and me. I worship Shiva, so I do not need a priest to tell me what is Shiva. I can know by myself. That was Bhakti movement. Halaki was liberal, nahi tha, it was religious. Protestantism liberal. Tha. So Protestantism questioned the religion and ultimately they supported the kings and king won the game. Known as 30 years war. At the end of 30 year war, Treaty of Westphalia was signed. And this city clearly says that who is sovereign over religion? State. State will decide what will happen to religion. So for example, Parliament of India can ban, has banned triple talaq. Halaki it is not written in Quran. Agar likha bhi hota, to bhi hum ban kar sakte. Because Parliament of India enjoys sovereignty. Ab this is a problem, India mein alak problem hai. Because all these concepts originated in the West. Is liye mein misa kehta hoon, polity is nothing but European social sciences, IR is nothing but American social sciences. Jitne aap concept idea padho ga, saare Western hai. India mein kaun laya in ideas ko? Who brought these ideas to India? Britishers. Britishers, through their colonialism, brought the sovereignty drama in India. That's why India has confusion. Hai. India has confusion in secularism. Ko leke. What is it? According to right-wingers, it is minority appeasement. According to minority, it is basically a drama. Har kisi ka alag meaning hai secularism ka. Because aapko pata hoga, there is no translation of words secularism in any Indian language. Translation is not. Because it's a new idea. Hamara nahi hai. West ka idea. Sabko samajh hai. Majority of the India's constitution Western hai. Indian values mein bhoat kam hai. Kyo? Because all the people who created this constitution were Western educated. If you will study in West, of course, you will imbibe their values. They say you, you, you will go to USA. So your kids will be more American than Indian. Their kids will be purely American. They will speak English and they will may forget Hindi. That would happen, na? And that's how you imbibe culture. Sabko samajh Please remember, that's why India ka ideal ke sam nahi lete because India mein there is too much dispute. Because these are imported values. They did not originate in India. Having said that, this is the starting of IR title nation. Okay? With this, a concept originate known as balance of power. Peter West Vela ke saath a concept aata hai. Something we call BOP or balance of power. <clears throat> what is this balance of power? If nations became supreme, they was church. 
and church was regulating the affair of all the state. All the European states which were Christian were under single command, church. All the states which were Muslim under two command, Persian and Ottoman Empire. But lastly, under the Caliphate. Islam is Caliphate hota hai or Pope hota hai Christianity. Hai. Because I told you, Christianity and Islam basically brother-sister religion. Hai. They came from each other. So, so they, when the state became supreme, then comes the problem of how to prevent wars. Then for example, your parents are missing. Then what happens? The siblings become supreme. Your parents are there. They, For example, they are eradicated out of question. So, what if the supreme power is gone, then the kids become supreme. Then they start fighting with each other. Aap ko dekhta hon, papa gai. Ko is ke so the sovereign of Pope is gone. Now the states are supreme. So how to maintain balance? This concept was born, known as balance of power. Means all the states will maintain roughly equal power so that they do not have a war. Because you don't fight with a person who is equal or superior to you. You may fight a person who is inferior to you. But this concept failed multiple times. First, it failed with the rise of Napoleon. Napoleon carried out numerous wars. It was not required. Napoleon in the world history. Mein. There was no requirement of war. Than Napo Napoleon carried out more than 100 wars in Europe. Useless purpose war. Kyo kari usne? Because war is a good diversion. Good diversion from the question of food and hunger. If war will not be there, then Russians, then French will ask, Where is our food? So, look, go, 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 go. so, war acts as a diversion. So, Napoleon fought more than 100 war for diversion. So, for the first time, balance of power failed because Napoleon emerged supreme in the entire Europe. France emerged superpower of Europe. Then it failed again with Britain in 20th century. Became the superpower. It had the largest colonial empire. It was said that uh, Sun never sat in British Empire. Then, 21st century, largely you can say the American century. America is a superpower. Then we had two world wars in a very narrow gap. 1940 to 18, first world war, then 1945 start second, then 1939 said, Joe B. Check Kalina. So, two world war in a very narrow gap. Bhai, balance of power is not working. We have to do something about it. And then comes the present concept. This is the foundation of whatever you study in Aya today. Koi bhi chiz aap padhte, wo sab isi pe rotate karti hai. Known as 14 point speech of Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson was the American president in 1917. He gave 14 point speech. Whatever you study in IR today is nothing but a reminiscent of 14 point. In this discussion, chalta hai, har vakt. it involves expansion of democracy, freedom of navigation, which you listen to in China. Ke freedom of navigation, expansion of democracy. One principle was very important. One of the principles was known as collective security. Collective security. What is collective security? Collective security means that the security of one nation is the collective concern of everyone else. Bo collective security nahi hai. Bo collective defense hai. Collective security. What is collective security? Collective security means unlike balance of power where everyone was venturing alone. Balance of power mein everyone is alone. They have to balance other party. In collective security, nobody has to balance anyone. Because collective security assumes that the security of one nation is the collective concern of everyone else involved. And this is the foundation principle of the thing you call. Clear? So United Nations Foundation is collective security. The only purpose United Nations is created. So United Nations is the brainchild of Woodrow Wilson. And take <clears throat> a clear this much. Ab jaldi se dekh lete organs of UN. There are few organs of UN. One is known as United Nations Security Council. United Nations General Assembly. United Nations General Assembly is like Lok Sabha. Where all the MPs are present. So in this case, all the states are there. Right now, there are 193 members. 
in the world there are 193 countries which are well, all the countries of the world they are the member of a body known as united nation general assembly the principle of unga is sovereign equality of all nations unga maan ke chalta hai that every country is equal chahe chhota sa mauritius ho ya bada sa india irrespective of military political power every country is equal that's the principle of united nation general assembly <coughs> the unga is like parliament of india unsc unsc is like government of india they say what is government of india what you have what is government of india council of minister headed by prime minister is government what a council of minister these are all the ministers put together what is a minister it is an mp who is the part of the government mp means member of legislature member of parliament in this case so few of those mp become the part of the government and they are known as ministers so minister is an mp or mla who is the part of government so basically few members out of 193 are member of a small council known as unsc right now it has 15 members ko samajh mein aaya kaise hai to unga mein everyone is present Out of that, few members have been put into small body known as UNSC. उसके अलावा और भी ऑर्गन होते हैं, which we will discuss later. देख लेना आपके पेपर में. फिलहाल हमें इन्हीं पे बात करनी है. अब UNSC, why we are discussing this? It is the most powerful body of the entire UN system. It is the only body that has teeth to bite. First, let us see what are the teeth it possesses. अभी आ रहे हैं सर इंडिया पार्ट ऑफ यूएनएससी यस जस्ट वेट अ सेकंड वी आर कमिंग टू दैट ठीक है बिकॉज दैट इज द न्यूज वी हैव टू डिस्कस ओके सो टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दिस इंडिया इज अ पार्ट और व्हाट एवर यू नीड टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट यूएनएससी डस एंड व्हाई देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ ड्रामा अराउंड इट व्हाई इंडिया हैज प्रपोज्ड अ रिफॉर्म एजेंडा that we are discussing in the news why hamas war mein unsc resolution is required why every time we hear unsc 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 because unsc has the responsibility to maintain peace so the burden of collective security lies on the shoulder of unsc it is the nucleus of un system baki sab to bas kehne ko hai this is a body that can do whatever it want basically it has a teeth to bite and the powers of unsc is mentioned in chapter 6 and 7 what are the powers let's look them quickly under chapter 6 unsc can take any peaceful measure like negotiation mediation arbitration referring matter to icj matlab maan lete hain india pakistan are, are having a dispute over anything so unsc what it can do united nations security council can pass a resolution in that resolution it will say we will mediate between india and pakistan aur aisa nahi hai ki india and pakistan can say no wo no nahi keh sakte everyone who is a member of un must obey with the command of unsc it's compulsory india pakistan is about to have a fight unsc passes a resolution under chapter 6 and says that we will mediate मतलब वी विल एक्ट लाइक पेरेंट्स एंड वी विल सिट ऑन अ टेबल डिस्कस करते क्या ड्रामा चल रहा है दैट इज व्हाट यू कॉल पीसफुल मेजर्स अब यूएनएससी फर्दर सेस इफ पीसफुल मेजर फेल्स मतलब पाकिस्तान सेस आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन यूएनएससी पाकिस्तान मना कर देता है आना मत मेरे देश में इन दैट केस में पीसफुल मेजर फेल्स देन कम्स प्यूरिटी मेजर द प्यूरिटी मेजर्स आर कवर्ड अंडर चैप्टर 7 तो पहले यूनेस्को विल ट्राई पीसफुल मेजर आर्बिट्रेशन नेगोशिएशन कंसोलिडेशन इफ दे डोंट वर्क देन इट विल मूव टू चैप्टर सेवन चैप्टर सेवन इन्वॉल्व प्यूनिटिव मेजर्स प्यूनिटिव मेजर्स मतलब कंप्लीट और पार्शियल डिस्ट्रप्शन इफ यूनेस्को पासेस एन ऑर्डर इट कैन आइसोलेट एनी कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड लेट्स से पाकिस्तान सेज आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन यू यूनेस्को पासेस अ रेजोल्यूशन से नो कंट्री ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड विल टॉक विद पाकिस्तान तो पाकिस्तान विल बी कंप्लीटली आइसोलेटेड 
नो बडी विल सेंड एनी थिंग टू पाकिस्तान मतलब ना ना ही नो टेलीकम्युनिकेशन लाइन नो रेलवे नो रोडवेज नो एयरवेज पाकिस्तान विल बी आउट ऑफ द कंट्री आउट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आइसोलेटेड नथिंग कैन गो आउट ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड नथिंग कैन गो इन पाकिस्तान दैट इज कॉल्ड कंप्लीट और पार्शियल इंटरप्शन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एंड डिप्लोमेटिक रिलेशन इंक्लूडिंग एम्बार्गो ऑन रेल सी हाईवे टू यू सी द पावर इट हैज रेल पावर उसके बाद भी ये कहता है आर्टिकल 42 ऑफ द चार्टर इट सेज इवन इफ दिस फेज जैसे नॉर्थ कोरिया उसे क्या आइसोलेट करोगे आप नॉर्थ कोरिया इज ऑलरेडी टू आइसोलेटेड वो कहा डरता है आइसोलेशन से सो आर्टिकल फोर्टी टू सेज इफ सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल बिलीव दैट अब मैथड मतलब डिस्ट्रप्शन आइसोलेशन डज नॉट वर्क आउट दैन इट कैन यूज फोर्स it can send army air force navy to that country to make it obey understand it has super powers kehne ka matlab and that's why that is power sab ko samajh bhai ab samajhte hai kaise kaam hota hai isme then we will come to india ne bhi kya propose kiya hai to exercise these powers unsc must pass a resolution resolution mera ko samjhaya tha resolution means opinion page in which you write an opinion and if it is approved it means your opinion is in favor or against there are two procedures known as substantive and procedural right now as i told you unsc has 15 members 15 members may say 10 members are known as temporary five members are known as permanent five members are uk US, China, France, USSR, now Russia. These are five permanent member. मतलब they are always present in UNSC. बाकी remaining ten members are chosen by United Nations General Assembly for a two years tenure. India has served, I think, eight times. India has been eight times temporary member. Clear? Eh? Temporary members are chosen every second year. For a two years tenure by a by general assembly among themselves, India has served around eight times. Right now, be a member not yet. So ten plus five. Five people are always present. Ten people are shuffled every second year among all the one ninety three member, excluding B fives. Now, what is it? In UN, there is something called double veto. UN, there is something called and this is the point of contention isi ke liye india ne proposal diya hai there is something called as double veto a what is this double veto because any of the un efforts all the measures chapter 6 chapter 7 article 42 if i have to pass those measures i require at least nine people to agree out of 15 any proposal in which nine member of unsc vote in favor is accepted let's say tomorrow uh, unsc have a resolution that uh, israel has israel has done war crimes in gaza and so israel must be made to pay monetary compensation to gaza can okay? it can pass a resolution by nine by 15 majority then israel must pay if israel does not pay it will be considered as a violation of UNSC resolution, then UNSC can penalize by any measure, economic sanction, rail sanction, whatever. Clear? Wa? Ab cash yahan pe kya aata hai? There are two kind of issues: substantive and procedural. Any issue which is substantive, in that these nine members must include P five. But समझ में आया? All resolutions are passed by nine by fifteen, but any issue which is substantive. In that issue, these nine members must include P five. This is basically a veto. If you are a P five member and you don't vote in favor of a proposal, let's say the voting is fourteen each to fifteen. Fourteen members of UNSC vote in favor of punishing Israel, and USA veto. I mean, USA vote no. Then be kuch nahi ho sakta because USA must be in the agreed members. This is one veto. Up, what is substantive? What is procedural? Will be decided by P5 itself. 
That's why it is called double veto. दोबारा repeat करता हूं How double veto works? I, India, take a proposal to UNSC. Let's punish Israel for war crime in Gaza. So as soon as the issue will come, the P5 have to decide is it substantive or not. If P5 says it is substantive, so it is substantive. कहानी खत्म तो फर्स्ट वीडियो तो यही मिल जाता है बिकॉज आई कैन डिसाइड वट इज सब्सेंटिव और एज सुन एज आई सेट इज सब्सेंटिव इट रिक्वायर माई वोट टू गेट पास दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड डबल वीटो सबको समझ आया कैसे काम करता है डबल वीटो अब दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम पी फाइव कंट्रीज यूज दिस वीटो वेन एवर दे लाइक ठीक है अब आते हैं न्यूज पे लेट्स कम टू द स्टार्टिंग क्या हुआ सो देर आर टू न्यूज फर्स्ट इंडिया इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ ग्रुप ऑफ नेशन नोन एज जी फोर India is a part of a group of nation known as G4. In this, you have India, Germany, Japan, or I think Brazil. Hai chotha. Ha, ha, Brazil. Hai, hai. So India, Germany, Japan, and Brazil together they are known as G4. These countries have recently given a proposal to the United Nations Security Council reform. They want some changes. In UNSC, for which they have given a proposal. Pehla news. Second, UNSC. Me, there was a resolution. United Nations Security Council. Me, there was a resolution which says that there shall be immediate ceasefire on the Gazan war, and all hostages must be released by Hamas. Catch. Yahan pe ye hai. America vetoed every time. This time, America abstained. Abstained ka matlab. अमेरिका नीदर वोटेड इन फेवर नॉर वोटेड अगेंस्ट मतलब टेसिटली अमेरिका इज सेइंग आई अग्री विद दिस समथिंग इज़राइल इज़ वेरी एंग्री अबाउट बिकॉज अंडरस्टैंड इज़राइल इज ऑलवेज नोन एज अमेरिका आउटपोस्ट इन मिडल ईस्ट इज़राइल सरवाइव्स ऑन अमेरिका अमेरिका इज द मदर यू कैन कॉल दैट इज़राइल दैट नर्चर इज इज़राइल क्लियर सो दिस टाइम वट इज हैपन यूएस हैज विदहोल्ड इट इट तो बेसिकली यूएस इज सेइंग प्लीज स्टॉप दिस वॉर अब ऐसा यूएस ने क्यों करा मैंने आपको पहले भी समझाया यू आर लिविंग इन इंफॉर्मेशन एज इन दिस इज नैरेटिव मैटर्स मोर देन एनीथिंग एल्स व्हाट इज हैपनिंग आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर आल्सो हमास वॉर व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन गाजा इज द हमास द सो कॉल्ड टेररिस्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन गाजा दे कैरीड आउट rocket fires on israel around 1300 something people died israel as a counter is carrying out a war on hamas but hamas may be dying or may not be dying who is really dying there the people of gaza it's a humanitarian tragedy i think more than 14000 or something people have died niche hoga more than 14000 something people have died in gaza and i think 40000 something are critically injured including children women everyone it is becoming a humanitarian disaster upar uh, se you are living in internet age and there are we easy you have a phone with a camera capture any video that is what is doing you are capturing videos and they are circulating in the entire middle east and muslims mein there is a problem known as muslim umaha islam believes that all muslims are one something you call muslim umha or islamic state that is organization the concept islam does not differentiate among muslims for it muslims are muslims of any nature of any place so government may not believe in that governments are realist unhe koi fark nahi padta islam islam sab wo use karti hai they don't care about anything but the people of those country do and this is america knows is becoming a critical point for america america need middle east particularly to counter china the more this war goes the more everyone knows in the world that israel is nothing but american outpost the more this war goes the more the gazans are killed the more the sympathy for gazans will increase the more the hate towards israel increase and the more america's foreign policy objective of bringing middle eastern country away from china decreases because the people will resist they will resist american advances so understand america has not voted in favor not because it loves gazans nobody loves gazans it is because 
America does not want to deal with foreign policy problem. Clear? और यहाँ पे यह भी याद रखिएगा हमास वॉर इसलिए नहीं हो रही कि सम ह्यूमैनिटेन ट्रेजिडी मैंने आपको रीजन बताया था पहले भी जिस वॉर इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज सऊदी अरेबिया वॉज टू साइन एन अग्रीमेंट विद इजरेल टू रिकोगनाइज इजरेल एंड दिस वॉज अ बिग कंसर्न फॉर ईरान अंडरस्टैंड ईरान एंड सऊदी अरेबिया आर फाइटिंग लाइक दे आर लाइक इंडिया पाकिस्तान ऑफ मिडल ईस्ट ईरान शिया सऊदी सुन्नी इट्स अ सेक्ट ऑफ इस्लाम एंड दे आर फाइटिंग डेथ जैसे इंडिया पाकिस्तान आर फाइटिंग दे आर फाइटिंग इन दैट सीनैरियो ईरान अमेरिका हेट्स ईरान बट लव सऊदी बिकॉज अमेरिका लव ऑल ऑटोक्रेसीज अमेरिका आउटसाइड अमेरिका लव डिक्टेटरशिप They are easy to control. They are easy to use. Democracy is not easy to run. So America hates Iran. Iran hates Saudi. So America loves Saudi. America was trying to have a negotiation. Why shouldn't Saudi Arabia recognize Israel? Since the creation of Israel, all Muslim countries are on a war with Israel because they believe Israel is illegally occupied Palestine. It was a Palestine state. Israeli came and they subjugated them. so they are on a war if saudi arabia signs agreement with israel then iran fears iran will be isolated in the middle east so what iran did jaise iran ko pata laga ki they are about to sign iran provided weapon and money to hamas and asked them shuru ho jao hamas launched attack on israel israel countered ab now saudi cannot sign agreement I told you, Muslim Ummah, Saudi signs agreement, then Saudi will witness a revolution within Saudi. Saudi people will ask, "You are signing an agreement with a killer of Muslims." Saudi will not be able to do that. This war is only and only for this reason because America wanted them to become friends. Iran does not want. Now people are dying. The people of Gaza can flee to nearby country. Lebanon is in the past. Syria is in the future. Egypt is in the future. All have closed borders. नहीं वहाँ तो नहीं जा पाओगे. Egypt आ सकते हो. Egypt has closed border for Gazans. सीधी सी बात ये है. If Gazans leave Gaza and goes to Egypt, Egypt में Israel cannot bomb. It will be a declaration of war with the country. It can bomb only Gaza. तो Israel कह भी रहा था starting में. I am giving you a. उसने starting में शुरुआत नहीं की थी. It said I am giving you a cooling period. जिसको निकलना है निकल जाओ. But बट बट इजिप्ट इजिप्ट ने बॉर्डर क्लोज कर दिया क्यों क्लोज किया अंडरस्टैंड अगर गाजन वहां से निकल गए तो मरेंगे कैसे मरेंगे नहीं तो न्यूज कैसे बनेगी और न्यूज नहीं बनेगी तो इंटरनेशनल मीडिया में इसराइल की बेजती कैसे होगी तो लास्ट नंबर ऑफ गाजन आर डाइंग बिकॉज सम कंट्रीज है देयर लाइफ वर्थ लेस देन अन अग्रीमेंट दैट इज वट इज हैपनिंग इन गाजा सबको समझ में आया एंड एवरी वन इज प्लेइंग पॉलिटिक्स दैट इज वट आई टोल्ड यू आई आर में एक चीज बड़ी क्लियर है रिलीजन कास्ट जेंडर जो भी है दे आर ऑल यूज फॉर पोलिटिकल पर्पज नो बडी केयर्स अबाउट एनी वन सो दिस न्यूज इज क्लियर सो दिस इज अग्निफिकेंट अचीवमेंट अच्छा काम हुआ है चाहे अमेरिका ने अपनी अपने रीजन से ही करा सही एटलीस्ट सीज फायर के लिए बोल दिया गया है चांसेस इज इसराइल विल ओबे दिस क्लियर अब आते हैं इंडिया वाली बात पे जी फोर जी फोर हैज गिवन अ प्रपोजल टू रिफॉर्म दिस ड्रामा टू रिफॉर्म दिस ड्रामा दे आर सेंग वी वॉन्ट अ परमानेंटली G4 are asking that we want to become a permanent member of uh, UNSC, and you see this India's foreign minister. Aditi, when you will do IR, वहाँ पे आप समझेंगे शिया सुन्नी का ड्रामा क्या है. It is started in a very particular context of Iranian revolution. Iran में revolution आता है, Iran becomes a democracy. Saudi Arabia डर जाता है, मगर Saudi Arabia से मुनार की, उसे लगता है कि मेरे पे भी democracy ना आ जाए. तो Saudi Arabia उठाता है किताब, जिसका नाम है कुरान. कहता है, चलो पुरानी किताबें निकालते हैं. And there he finds something. Oh, oh, Shia Sunni. Let's use it. Shia Sunni divide start because Saudi does not want to have a democratic revolution or कुछ नहीं. Religion का इसी तरह इस्तेमाल होता है. Anyway, so G4 countries want a permanent membership. That is a proposal. Let's see the proposal in detail. They say there is an underrepresentation of countries like Africa, Asia Pacific, and Latin America, which undermines. the UNSC legitimacy and its ability to address global challenges this is a statement india's foreign minister jay shankar says every time ab kabhi bhi jay shankar ke utha lena or whenever he is talking about un ye line hamesha bolta hai 
that India needs a permanent seat, otherwise UN is losing its legitimacy. Every time Jaisankar says this. Why? Because we want a membership. Now, suggestion kya hai? Suggestion is to increase the membership from 15 to 25 or 26, out of which they will be both permanent and non-permanent member. In which six will be permanent members. Six matlab, four G4, G4 country plus any two African countries. So expand the membership from 15 to 25, 26, out of which there will be six new permanent members. That is G4 plus any two African countries. And there will be remaining new non-permanent members. That is the proposal given by in uh, the G4 countries. Plus, they say, I know you are fearful of veto power. If we become permanent, we will also enjoy veto power. Then we will beat Pakistan any time because we know UN cannot do anything against us. Biggest advantage of becoming permanent member is veto. power. The biggest thing you get by becoming permanent member is veto power. It means collective security cannot operate on you. The first question is, we have made this power of power. Why we made this? Why we made this? Yes, particularly Russia. Whose idea is United Nations? America's. Woodrow Wilson, 14 point speech, collective security. It was American idea. You have an enemy and he's telling you a good advice. You won't listen to it. Okay, I'm going to die, but I won't listen to it. I die by smoking, I'm going to die. I'm going to die, I'm going to die. <laughs> the thing is, because when an enemy gives a good advice, you don't take it. Your friend gives a bad advice, you take it. America was fighting with USA in a Cold War scenario. And America is saying to US, US, America is saying to USSR, please join my coalition called United Nations. Can you join? Karoge? America, USSR would die, but will never join United Nations. So as a compromise, as a compromise, America said, okay, fine. We will have something called veto. Please join. United Nations, but it will never be used against you. Aap aato jao kam se kam. Aisa mne kyo kara? Because League of Nations is se pehle ek body bana chukke. Before United Nations, there was a body in the world known as League of Nations. It, that was based on collective security idea after World War I. But that body failed. Because that body mein every decision was made by consensus of all members. Matlab everyone have had veto. Obviously, baat hai, I am committing aggression on Pakistan. And if I have veto in UN, so why would I use it? Kya main Article 42 ko chalne dunga? Kabhi nahi. So, League of Nations failed. So, to we learned from League of Nations and we created United Nations. So, we reformed it. We created a small body of 15 people. Pahle chuti thi, baad mein 15 ho gai. And we gave few people power of veto. Clear? Is liye India ne kya bola hai? We will have something called as trial period. Because everyone is saying you will become permanent member, you will use veto the same way other people use. So they said, try me out first. Okay, but try it, I will be a good person. Give me permanent membership and try me for some time. And see how I behave. If you like it, then give me veto. Okay, basically that is what we call trial period. So there are two proposals, please remember and remember this proposal. Increase membership from 15 to 25, 26 with six permanent and remaining non-permanent members. The permanent members will have a trial period in which they will not use veto. They will not have veto. Clear? A question is that do you think India will get a permanent membership? Kabhi nahi. Kabhi hoi nahi sakta hai. Until unless we have a third world war. Tab ho jayega. The reason being why would India give a permanent membership? Why? And I'm not talking about P5 countries. They, they will not oppose. No country in this world, any country you pick, except Bhutan, that's okay. No country in this world will allow India to become a permanent member. Because they are already concerned with P5, then they have to be concerned with P11. If it's higher, then P11 will be higher. We are concerned with P11. Why do we keep them there? Pe? The thing is very clear. India can ask as much as it wants. It will never gonna happen. Then the question comes, why we are asking? But why we are saying, okay, you, you claim something when you believe you can act 
अब अब यूपीएससी पढ़ने आया तो उम्मीद तो होगी ना थोड़ी बहुत तो कि मैं क्लियर कर लूंगा या कर लूंगी अगर जीरो उम्मीद होती तो यहाँ थोड़ा होते बेसिकली इंडिया इज ट्राइंग टू शो टू दर्ल्ड दैट आई एम कैपेबल ऑफ हैविंग इट मैं पता है मैं नहीं मिलेगी बट बाई टेकिंग क्लेम वी आर मेकिंग अ स्टेटमेंट दैट वी बिलीव वी आर एट द लेवल दैट वी कैन सिट विद द ग्रेट पावर्स टूगेदर बात समझ में वट इज इंडिया इज इंटेंशन इंडिया इज नॉट गॉट अ गैजेट ठीक है पर क्लेम करने में क्या जाता है एनी वे दिस इज वट आई हैव फॉर यू बाकी लिमिटेशन इसमें वही है इसमें वीटो पावर का कुछ है नहीं बिकॉज दुनिया इससे तो परेशान है वीटो से The world is concerned about veto power. Why you have a Ukraine war because USSR has a veto power? Why why you are having Gaza war because USA is a veto power? So everyone is a veto power. Yeah, main to me, yeah, hata na hai. Because isme yeh kamal ka hai. India is not saying remove veto. India is saying make me permanent. ठीक है. So basic logic simple sa hai. जैसे मैंने आपको बताया, you want to help other people, but first getting power for yourself. पहले मैं highest बन जाऊँ, फिर मैं लोगों की मदद करने जाऊँगा. ठीक है. So that is what we say. हाँ ठीक है क्वेश्चन एक केस ले लेते लेट से दे डिसाइड टू डू दिस मैंने आपको वीडियो पावर समझाया लेट से दे डिसाइड उनका दिल बड़ा हो जाता कहते कर देते हैं यार बुरा मत मानो लेट्स डू इट एनी रिफॉर्म लेट्स से रिमूव वीटो एक्सपेंड वीटो और एज सेइंग मेक पी फाइव रोटेशनल कोई भी ड्रामा उसको करने के लिए यू हैव टू अमेंड यू चार्टर अमेंडमेंट के बिना नहीं होगा And U.S. Charter Amendment का procedure बड़ा कमाल का है. The amendment procedure says that any amendment to the U.N. Charter must be passed by United Nations General Assembly by two-third majority. This two-third must include P5. <laughs> Plus, it must be ratified. पहले तो it must be passed by U.N.G.A. by two-third majority. Then it will be ratified by at least two-third countries. Ratified मतलब in their parliament they will pass it. By at least two-third country that must include P5. So basically, UN Charter cannot be amended without P5's agreement. अगर two-third आप achieve कर भी लो, तब भी P5. And who is opposing India's membership? आप लोग guess कर सकते हैं. Pakistan, China इन चीजों में नहीं पड़ता. Understand? इसे जरूरत नहीं है. Understand? You come to this was real power होती है. वो तभी सामने आता है जब काम हो. ये मतलब कि शोषावाजी कौन करते हैं? इनमें power होती नहीं. दिखाना चाहते हैं. So the thing is, as soon as we stake a claim, Pakistan has formed a group known as Coffee Club. Pakistan has formed a counter group known as Coffee Club, and they passed a resolution. Coffee Club ne known as Uniting for Uniting for Consensus. What is Uniting for Consensus? It says any extension. Or any change in permanent member must be done by by consensus of United Nations. Abhi kisse hoga? Majorities. Any change in permanent membership will happen by two third majority. Pakistan kya keh raha hai? Nahi. Two third majority nahi. Absolute consensus. Matlab all one ninety three members of the United Nations must agree to the change. Kya nega matlab Pakistan is saying giving give me veto power over India's membership. This is what you call coffee club or uniting for consensus. Okay, well, India India, सबको oppose करते हैं. Germany का opposition है, Brazil को Argentina oppose कर रहा है. African में Africa में लड़ाई चल रही है कौन बनेगा? Two country Africa की ना कौन सी country? ठीक है. Japan को already oppose कर रहा है because Japan is basically a subset of American foreign policy. And Germany का opposition इसलिए है because Europe is already over represented here. The two countries from Europe directly member of UNSC permanent membership. So everyone who have a claim, there is a counter claim. So please understand. ये debate के लिए अच्छा है, discussion के लिए अच्छा है, पर इसका होना कुछ नहीं है. Anyway, clear? Please remember this. अच्छा बत्तीस हजार लोग मरे हैं अभी तक. Very good. चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं. Clear? बाकी आप पढ़ लेना जो भी इसमें ये कुछ बेकार लोगों के मैंने नाम लिखे हैं. आपने बुक पढ़ी है कहीं पे उससे नहीं 
और अच्छा लगेगा वेर एन इवेल्यूएट चेक योर आंसर उसमें आप करंट अफेयर से लिंक करके कुछ लिखते हैं और यू कैन यूज दैट इन एवरी पेपर चाहे इतिहास का आंसर क्यों ना लिख रहे हो If you're writing a history answer and if you have a relevant example in current affairs, you can put it. Everyone will like it. उनको समझ में आ जाएगा you are not just a rote learner. You are having linkages also. UPSC loves this process. लेकिन तो एक आर स्कॉलर कोशिश करिए इसमें देख लीजिए इसका क्या कहना है. Ramesh Sharma says G4 should adopt non-cooperation with UN. मतलब come out of UN and say bye bye Tata. हम जा रहे हैं. You are not interested in reforms. Kofi Annan, the former Secretary General says. The world has changed, so does the UN must change. Now, answer to the last question: If UN does not reform, will it become irrelevant? His answer is given by George F. S. Nine. He is a very important scholar. George F. S. Nine has suggested that yes, there is a crisis of legitimacy. I agree. Yes, there is creation of other bodies like G20 because people are frustrated with the UN. I agree, but yet there is no body in the world which can match UN. Bakis ne bola UN has invented peacekeeping mission, economic council, and UN literally command control over people's psyche. The blue helmet. UN ke jo soldiers hote hain, ka blue helmet hota hai. UN likha hota hai. it has become the most important point of un un is visible everyone respect un chahe wo samajhte uski kami hai fir bhi wo respect karte hain and that's why he has said he has taken a quote from dag hammer sk jol he was a former secretary general that un was never created to, to take mankind to heaven it was created to prevent mankind from hell so un ka purpose kabhi aapko aasman pe le jana nahi aapko zameen mein ghusne se bachane ka hai matlab it the only purpose it has is to prevent wars agree it has some weaknesses but largely it has been successful clear chaliye so that was the second news in which i have covered two news together ab aate hain next page uh, it is a indian employment report 2024 for prelims purpose remember the name of the report and the publishing organization it is a report of ilo international labor i think it's a member of united nations ilo and what are the sources of this this report national sample survey periodic labor force survey ye sare government of india ke survey hai isme mains mein question bhi aaya tha how government of india calculate employment and employment in india uska answer ye tha You have to write about national sample survey, periodic labour force survey, annual survey of industries, national account statistic, and the Reserve Bank of India claims data. These all are database of India. This report ne kya kara? It has basically seen all this data and has tried to make a sense out of it. Let's see what is the sense finding of the report. A total of eighty three percent of the all unemployed are youth of India. तो जितने लोग अनएम्प्लॉयड है इसमें सबसे ज्यादा कौन है आप लोगों बेसिकली क्यों कॉमन सेंस है आपसे नीचे वाले पढ़ रहे हैं आपसे ऊपर वालों की ये जितनी हो गई है कि उन्होंने जॉब पाने की इच्छा छोड़ दी है दिस इज व्हाट यू कॉल गिविंग अप द डिजायर टू हैव अ जॉब अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज काउंटेड ओनली फॉर टू काइंड ऑफ पीपल वन हु आर नॉट वर्किंग लुकिंग फॉर वर्क एंड द सेकेंड हु If you say in a survey, I have no desire to have a job, you are not counted as unemployed. Please remember this. In no survey, if you say that I have no desire for a job, you will never be counted as unemployed. Unemployed, वो मानते हैं who had a job, lost a job, looking for a job, and desire for a job. If you say I have no desire for a job, you are not counted as unemployed in any survey. Having said that, what is happening in India is. Common sense, sir. What happened? You get graduated. You try for four to five years to get a job, a good paying job, low paying job. मिल जाती है. A good paying job. You are unable to find. Then you move to either agriculture or start a small business. इसीलिए majority of the people who are unemployed are youth. Common sense, sir. जो आपसे old है, they have no desire of working anymore. They are not looking to find a job. या तो मिल चुकी होगी, या उनका desire ही खत्म हो गया है. 
आप लोग ढूंढ रहे हैं कोशिश कर रहे हैं आपके नीचे वाले पढ़ रहे हैं तो दोनों आ ही नहीं सकते इसलिए मेजोरिटी ऑफ द लोग कौन है आप ठीक है yes, kind of बिल्कुल सही बोले नेक्स्ट दिस रिपोर्ट हाईलाइट देर इज अ राइज इन यूथ एम्प्लॉयमेंट यस यूथ एम्प्लॉयमेंट में राइज हुआ है पर प्रॉब्लम कहाँ है प्रॉब्लम है ये कैसी एम्प्लॉयमेंट है That is what I told you earlier also. You people have a mismatch of what skills and the job required. और यही इसमें देखिए last point है. This highlights. अब मुझे उम्मीद नहीं थी तब बुरा हाल है. Seventy five percent of young boys उनको इतना नहीं पता कि email में attachment कैसे भेजते हैं. Seventy five percent of your generation does not know how to send an attachment in an email. Sixty percent को copy paste ये तो यार मैं बचपन में सीखा था हमने. ये नहीं आता और 90 परसेंट को स्प्रेडशीट इस्तेमाल करनी नहीं आती इट्स अ वेरी डायर सिक्वेशन सो ये 75 परसेंट यूथ को ईमेल अटैचमेंट नहीं आता जो आपके लिए तो शायद कॉमन सेंस होगा ठीक है 60 परसेंट को कॉपी पेस्ट फाइल करना नहीं आता और 90 परसेंट को स्प्रेडशीट नहीं आती स्प्रेडशीट एक्सेल वाली जो होती है दैट इज वेरी बेसिक यू कैन गो इन एनी ऑफिस चाहे आप कोई भी जॉब कर रहे हो स्प्रेडशीट इज टूडेज बेसिक इन रिक्वायरमेंट and 90% of the people who are unemployed do not know how to use a spreadsheet this is a big problem skills do not match the requirement iske reason aap governance mein karenge one reason i told you hamara education system pathetic hai 90% liya ho 99% liya ho 98% liya ho they do not focus on skills chahe aap 30% lao skills to honi chahiye स्किल्स लीड्स टू जॉब मार्क्स से कोई किसी को जॉब नहीं देता दैट इज अ क्वेश्चन आज बाय आनंद महिंद्रा द ओनर ऑफ महिंद्रा देर वॉज अ पर्सन आज सर वट वॉज योर स्कोर इन दूस ही सेट इट डजेंट मैटर डजेंट मैटर बिकॉज द पोजिशन दैट आई एम एट ओनली थिंग दैट मैटर इज माई स्किल्स एंड एक्सपीरियंस वट आई स्कोर डजेंट मैटर पर उसने मार्क्सिट डाल दी थी अच्छे स्कोर नहीं थे एनी वे पॉइंट इज इट लिटरली डज नॉट मैटर वट यू स्कोर इन टेंथ ट्वेल्थ और हमने हमारे देश में इतना हुआ बनाया हुआ है टेंथ ट्वेल्थ का भाई नाइनटी से कमाया तो आपसे नलायक कोई नहीं इट लिट इसलिए यूपीएससी डज नॉट केयर अबाउट योर मार्क्स दे इज अप्शन अमंग स्टूडेंट इफ यू हैव वेरी गुड मार्क्स इन टेंथ ट्वेल्थ यूपीएससी विल गिव यू एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स उल्टा है इसका इफ यू हैव वेरी गुड स्कोर इन योर बैचलर्स एंड टेंथ ट्वेल्थ देन द इंटरव्यू पैनल हैज अ इंक्रीज एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम यू आप खुद को इमेजिन करिए आप इंटरव्यू ले रहे हैं किसी का आपको एकदम पता लगा उसके उसके फिजिक्स में 95 आए तो आपकी नेचुरल क्यूरियोसिटी नहीं बनती है फिजिक्स के क्वेश्चन पूछता हूँ और अगर वो जवाब नहीं दे पाया तो आपको बुरा लगेगा यार काहे के 95 है तेरे पुट योर सेल्फ एट दोजिशन ऑफ एवेल्यूएटर वो कोई आसमान से आए हुए एलियंस नहीं है वो आप ही के बीच में से निकले हुए लोग हैं एंड देव अचुरल क्यूरियोसिटी इफ यू हैव वेरी गुड मार्क्स इन टेन ट्वेल्थ एंड आपका बैचलर्स में दे इज अचुरल क्यूरियोसिटी इन द इंटरव्यू पैनल to ask good quality questions and they expect a good answer because you are have been a bright student through and through isliye if you remember that clip went viral kisi ne shoot ki mujhe nahi pata that iit gold medalist 5 saal se attend kar raha tha but was a problem he was a gold medalist so your interviewer expect karega na gold medal wala jawab ab aapne btech kari hai civil engineering se psir optional hai aapka kahan se yaad hogi civil engineering बात समझ में तो अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम इट इज हाइलाइटेड हियर एंड यूपीएससी इसलिए परवाह नहीं करता मार्क्स की यूपीएससी में 33 परसेंट पे लोग आईएएस बने द लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट हु हैव बिकम आईएएस आईपीएस एट ओनली 33 34 परसेंट इन टेंथ ट्वेल्थ केवल मार्जिन पे पास हुए थे एक मार्क नीचे होता तो निकल लेते एंड दोस पीपल हैव बिकम आईएएस आईपीएस और जो 90 90 लाए हैं उनको नहीं मिला कभी आईएएस आईपीएस अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज अ डिफरेंट एग्जाम इट चेक्स डिफरेंट स्किल्स and upsc i can personally guarantee does not care about your marks kisi ne wo marks pe question bhi nahi puchte ye baat agar aapko pata ho workshop jo hamari hui thi usme lakshmi narayan jo pehle aaye the unhone ye baat batayi thi kya unhone bata ki jo marks mark se koi nahi dikh raha they are seeing your they are seeing your present bhai aapne prelims ke liye you have clear prelims you have made you have shown your quality now we are checking your personality but you scored in 10 the 7 or 8 years back nobody cares ठीक है एंड दैट्स इज द पॉइंट हियर इंडियन एजुकेशन सिस्टम फोकस ओनली ऑन मार्क्स वी शुड हैव फोकस ऑन स्किल्स वी शुड हैव एम्प्लॉयमेंट रेडी ग्रेजुएट्स इन इंडिया द सेकंड यू हैव अ डिग्री फाइनल डिग्री यू मस्ट बी एबल विद स्किल्स द वे यू हैव इन जर्मनी 
जर्मनी में एवरी स्टूडेंट इज मेड टू गो फॉर वोकेशनल ट्रेनिंग एवरी स्टूडेंट I think 70 to 80 percent of the graduates in Germany have skills. Why? Because they go go for skill training. हमारे में ऐसा नहीं होता. Degree करो, बड़ी-बड़ी बातें करो. You will have a degree. You will have a lot of knowledge. But land to lab connect is missing. आपसे एक चीज पूछ लो. Real life में क्या हो रहा है? आप नहीं बता पाओगे. It's a very good example. If you have seen, there is a small Big Bang Theory. There is a show, and there is a very small clip. It's very good. All the people in that show are physicists. High rank physicists who are doing research, that sun level research. वहाँ पे हम God particle ढूँढ रहे हैं ना इस तरह की research. And there was a uh, there was a क्या बोलते हैं सर? Waiter. There was a girl who was a waiter. She they were in the car. She asked them her car broke down. She asked them does anyone know how internal combustion engine work? Everyone says हाँ मैं पता है. Then she asked in this car. Everyone says हमें नहीं पता. What is the difference? They know the theory, how internal combustion engine works. But when it comes to really looking at the engine, they have no idea which part is which. A mechanic know better than them. That is a mismatch of knowledge and skills. And this report highlights the same. India has a severe problem of skill mismatch. And you read any current affairs, you read any news on economy, particularly related to employment. ये point हर कोई बोलता है. चाहे capitalist हो चाहे government, everyone says the same thing. तो इसके लिए करना क्या है? Education reforms. We need to make skill training an integral part of education in India. But problem our parents ki bhi aati hai. They don't like us. They don't like ki ham ITI karne jaaye. Often ITI is a degree where they taught literal skills, and there is a perception in India. It's a it's a skill for illiterate. It's a skill for who cannot do big degrees. They want you eleven, twelve, see the B Tech my ID job. <laughs> बात समझ में आ रही है प्रॉब्लम जहां पे आ रही है देखिए बीटेक तो भी ठीक है बिकॉज बीटेक टेक्निकल डिग्री है वहां पे स्किल सिखाई जाती है आई एम टॉकिंग ऑन नॉन बीटेक कोर्सेज नॉन बीटेक कोर्सेज के बहुत ही बुरे हालात है बीटेक का आप कह सकते हैं 20% परसेंट नॉन बीटेक का 10% परसेंट है मे बी फाइव भी हो सकता है क्लियर है तो प्लीज रिमेंबर इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एंड दिस पॉइंट यू कैन राइट इन एनी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू इंप्लॉयमेंट एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट दैट मिस मैच ऑफ स्किल्स एंड नेक्स्ट इंडिया हैज द हाइएस्ट यूथ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट मैंने आपको बताई दिया अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अमंग वुमन इज मोर देन मैन Again, common sense. Hiring a woman is a tedious task. Hiring a man is less tedious task. Hiring a woman, security का ध्यान रखो, sexual harassment का ध्यान रखो, late late night काम नहीं करवा सकते, कभी भी call नहीं कर सकते. Men के कास में, men के case में, you have no such kind of problem. Flexibility. Make them work any time you want. Call them any time. Bring them any time. Rigorous work. So, इसलिए often women find less employment than men. So, clear two statistics. पहला There is an employment scenario in India. Unemployment scenario in India. Majority of the unemployed are young Indians. Male have better employment than female, and the biggest reason this report find out is the lack of skills. Some positives are there is a rise. Women employment has risen in self employment and unpaid family work. Now this is a problem. Uh, I don't know if it's positive or negative. Bole. सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट इंक्रीज कर रहा है बट अंडरस्टैंड सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट डज नॉट मीन क्वालिटी एम्प्लॉयमेंट ये पॉइंट पहले लिख चुके हैं स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट यही था कि एम्प्लॉयमेंट बढ़ा है यस देर इज इंक्रीज ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट बट पुअर क्वालिटी यू आर हैविंग अ जॉब यू आर गेटिंग ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड विदाउट एनी सोशल सिक्योरिटी कोई मतलब नहीं है इस जॉब का यू मस्ट हैव सम डिस्पोजेबल इनकम एनी जॉब यू आर डूइंग इफ यू डोंट हैव अ डिस्पोजेबल इनकम डिस्पोजेबल इनकम मीन इनकम विच यू कैन स्पेंड एट विल There is one component of the income which is necessary component to eat to live. Man, let's say you are earning twenty thousand and you are spending ninety thousand in rent payment and daily commute and everything. So that job is worthless for you until unless it is skill job. हो सकता है you are there just to get skill and then move on. तो ठीक है. If you are in that job out of compulsion because you have no other avenue available, then you are wasting your time and everyone's time. Because वो job किसी काम की नहीं है. ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड आपको मिल रहा है अग्रीड बट यू आर कंज्यूमिंग नाइनटी थाउजेंड यू आर सेविंग नथिंग फॉर द फ्यूचर यू हैव नो डिस्पोजेबल इनकम बात समझ में जॉब आर इंक्रीजिंग पर्टिकुलरली सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयड जॉब बट दे आर नॉट ऑफ गुड क्वालिटी दैट इज द पॉइंट उसके अलावा लेबर प्रोडक्टिविटी हेज इंक्रीज इट्स अ गुड न्यूज बिकॉज टेक्नोलॉजी हेज इंक्रीज लेबर प्रोडक्टिविटी हेज इंक्रीज फीमेल पार्टिसिपेशन रेट हेज इंक्रीज पर्टिकुलरली रूरल एरिया I told you, distress in rural areas is more than urban areas. 
एंड वाई इज इट सो तो ठीक है तो डिस्टेंस तो कम होना चाहिए वहां पे दो रीजन हाँ थोड़ा आपने सही बोला दैट एग्रीकल्चर एग्रीकल्चर हैज हाई डिस्ट्रेस दूसरा एक और प्रॉब्लम है रूरल एरियाज में एवेन्यूज ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज लेस अर्बन एरियाज में यू हैव अ सर्विस सेक्टर अर्बन एरियाज में सर्विसेज आर मोर रूरल एरियाज में एग्रीकल्चर और सेकेंडरी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडिया में मैन्युफैक्चरिंग है ही नहीं इंडिया में मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इज इन पथेटिक कंडीशन दैट्स वाई रूरल एरिया में डिस्ट्रेस ज्यादा एग्रीकल्चर इज ऑलरेडी स्ट्रेस्ड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इज नॉट अवेलेबल अर्बन एरियाज में एटलीस्ट यू हैव सर्विसेज इसलिए अर्बन एरियाज अपियर मोर प्रॉस्परस तो ये रिपोर्ट क्लियरली बताती भी है फीमेल पार्टिसिपेशन इज इंक्रीज इन रूरल एरियाज एंड स्ट्रेस वहां पर ज्यादा है एंड देर इज अ ग्रेजुअल शिफ्ट फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चर टू ये मैं आपको पहले भी समझा चुका हूँ किसके कारण सरकार के कारण देर इज अ शिफ्ट फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चर टू नॉन फार्म लेकिन इन कंस्ट्रक्शन नॉट इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वी नीड शिफ्ट फ्रॉम फार्म टू मैन्युफैक्चरिंग मैन्युफैक्चरिंग जॉब्स आर स्टेबल एंड दे प्रोवाइड अल्टरनेटिव एम्प्लॉयमेंट कंस्ट्रक्शन जॉब्स आर टेम्पररी जॉब्स टूडे आई एम बिल्डिंग हाईवे आई हैव यू टूमोरो आई एम बिल्डिंग हाईवे समवेयर एल्स यहाँ का तो हाईवे बन गया तब आपको यहाँ जॉब थोड़ा मिलेगा I want you to have a manufacturing job, which is a bit stable. So India, me right now the highest employer is agriculture. Second highest is construction, which is not a very good job. Abhi ke liye theek hai, because of this India's unemployment has decreased. Lekin iska matlab ye nahi ki India's employment scenario is good. That's why the pehli statement kya thi? Majority of the employment in India is poor quality. Clear? Chali theek hai. Yehi tha is news me. लास्ट है इंडिया टीबी रिपोर्ट इट इज फ्रॉम योर साइंस एंड टेक साइंस एंड टेक से देख लेते हैं एज पर द इंडिया टीबी रिपोर्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर पब्लिश बाई यूनियन हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री द डिस्पैरिटी बिटवीन प्रोजेक्टेड एंड कन्फर्म केसेज ऑफ ट्यूबर क्लासेज इज डिमिनिशिंग गुड न्यूज है हमारे लिए दैट द केसेज दैट इज लाइकली टू हैपन एंड द केसेज विच आर बींग डिटेक्टेड उनके बीच में डिस्टेंस कम हो गया तो फ्रॉम साइंस एंड टेक लेस एंड लेसन वट इज इज ट्यूबर क्लासेस Tuberculosis is a bacterial disease caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. जाता मुझे tubercle के नाम होता है कुछ इसका या कहीं लिखा होगा यार देख लेते tuberculosis, Mycobacterium tuberculosis. So it's a bacterial disease. अब what is the problem? The problem is it is communicable. It is communicable disease. अब India में क्या होता है? And it takes time to show symptoms. जैसे कोरोना के time पे हुआ था. Corona takes time to show symptom, so you have that bacteria in you. So it means it is started multiplying in your body, starting getting you ill. You are coughing, you cough, and that cough is often inhaled by somebody else, particularly in public places. The cough is often inhaled by somebody else in public places. They get the bacteria, and that person cough, other person get the bacteria, because it takes time to replicate. After the six seven days, the cough will come. Then you will go to the court. Then you will sorry. Then you will go to the hospitals. But by that time, you have spent sufficient time polluting everyone. Particularly in, is the majority of the TB cases comes from particularly rural areas because there is no proper medical facility. जब तक पता लगता है you have TB, तब तक you have spread it to a lot of people. This is the problem with TB. That's why India, I think, along with Pakistan or another country, or it. in the world are the only last places of tb so it is becoming hard to eradicate iske liye hame kya strong karna hai apna surveillance system as soon as you get the tb you must be must catch it isliye maine aapko ek suggestion diya tha nahi sir aapki class mein nahi hua tha governance mein there is a proper chapter on health wahan pe you do every dimension of health wahan pe there is a single thing that there shall be a compulsory annual checkup suggestion hai इंडिया में देर इज नथिंग कॉल एनुअल चेकअप और महंगा नहीं होता है ये इफ यू गो इन अ प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल मुश्किल से हजार रुपए का पड़ता है अ फुल बॉडी चेकअप टेक्स अराउंड थाउजेंड रुपीज गवर्नमेंट कैन डू अ फुल बॉडी चेकअप ऑफ एवरी इंडियन एवरी ईयर नॉट इन द सेम डे थ्रू आउट द ईयर फॉर थ्री सिक्सटी फोर डेज वट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन गो टू एनी नियर बाई हॉस्पिटल एंड गेट योर एनुअल चेकअप और गवर्नमेंट को मुश्किल से बिकॉज एन मास होगा मुश्किल से सरकार को पड़ेगा तीन सौ चार सौ रुपए पर पर्सन इतना सरकार एक व्यक्ति के लिए एक साल में ले सकती है एडवांटेज इफ देर विल बी एनुअल हेल्थ चेकअप इफ यू हैव अ डिजीज वी विल गेट टू नो इट बिफोर इट बिकम सीवियर 
अभी क्या होता है यू हैव अ डिजीज यू थिंक मुझे बिखार आ रहा है चलो पीसीएम खा लेता हूँ कोल्ड हो रहा है चलो डी कोल्ड खा लेता हूँ ठीक है उससे ठीक हो जाते हो लेकिन द वायरस इन योर बॉडी द बैक्टीरिया इन योर बॉडी इट एलिनेट्स इट म्यूटेट्स एंड देन इट शो द ट्रू फेस इसलिए पहले क्या होता है स्लोली बीमार पड़ते हो फिर आप बुरा वाला बीमार पड़ते हो बिकॉज दैट बैक्टीरिया दैट वायरस डज नॉट डाई बाई योर डी कोल्ड टोटल और पीसीएम पर आपको नहीं पता ना वट डिजीज यू हैव एंड इंडिया में हेल्थ केयर इज वेरी कॉस्टली सरकारी में जाओगे तो जगह नहीं है प्राइवेट वाला आपसे डेढ़ हजार रुपये मांगता है एक एक कंसल्टेशन के तो प्राइवेट यू कैन नॉट अफोर्ड गवर्नमेंट इज पथेटिकली अवेलेबल इसके लिए बट वी कैन डू एनुअल कंपल्सरी हेल्थ चेक इतना सरकार कर सके सस्ता एल्टरनेटिव इससे आपको भी पता लग जाएगा और हमें भी पता लग जाएगा हु हैज वट and once you find out that something is wrong with my report you can pursue further baat samajh bhai is a very cheap alternative mujhe nahi pata kyun nahi kar rahi sarka you check it out fine so this report highlight there is a bridge in gap and the significant drop in undetected tb lagbhag kitna ho gaya 2.3 lakh abhi bhi bahut zyada hai waise still around 2.3 lakh people are undetected or we detect them late Two point three lakhs people are still being undetected, still being detected late. So we have to bridge this also. But okay, then also okay. And the government effort is Nikshay portal. And how we have bridged this gap? Because we have included private healthcare. Before the government used to follow a program known as DOT program. DOT program is that as soon as you identify with tuberculosis, government gets free medication. It's a six or seven month course. Continuously, you have to take it. अब प्रॉब्लम कहाँ आती है कुछ आपके साथ भी है कुछ सरकार के साथ भी है एज सुन एज यू स्टार्ट फीलिंग गुड यू लीव मेडिसिन प्रॉपर कोर्स ऑफ सिक्स टू सेवन मंथ यू टू टेक इट कॉन्टिन्यूसली एज सुन एज यू स्टार्ट फीलिंग गुड आफ्टर वन और टू मंथ यू स्टॉप टेकिंग मेडिकेशन वट एपन द बैक्टेरिया इन योर बॉडी म्यूटेट्स एंड देन इट लीड टू सेकेंड फॉर्म दो फॉर्म होती है इसकी अगर नोन एज मल्टी ड्रग MDR TB. First, you will have a TB. If you don't take medication or take half medication, what will happen? Your bacteria will mutate into MDR TB. It is resistant to first line of drug. However, thankfully, right now we can treat MDR TB. But उसके लिए फिर heavy dose लगता है. But heavy dose, understand, kills your body also. When you take a medication, it not only kills the bacteria which is concerned, it also kills the good one. It takes a toll on the body. As an body, पे बहुत असर पड़ता है. And you see, there are a lot of organs which are impacted. So the longer the course, and these are heavy medicine. So TB, you have stopped. In between, you were having light medicine. Now you have to take heavier medicine, which takes a toll on health also. Plus, if you again do the same mechanism, then you will go to. Extensively drug-resistant TB. This point is only prayer. No prayer. Okay. After that, pray that the virus will go out of your body. It's very hard to treat XDR TB. Very hard. It can but it can't treat it. 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 Government do not do the follow up, and also people get lexed. हाँ मैं ठीक हो गया बढ़िया हूँ मैं चंगा हूँ। वो रहता है ना नींबू पानी पीने ठीक हो जाएगा क्यों नहीं चले रहा है? तो ये घर के नुक्स नुस्के जो लगाते रहते हैं ना तो that is a concern. Anyway, clear है तो these are the three forms of TB. Please remember tuberculosis, MDR and XDR TB. They graduate slowly if you take stop medication in between or you take homemade medicines whatever is drama. Reports suggest that there is a decrease in the gap of identified and non-identified. Still, it is 2.3 lakh, which is a big number. We have to reduce it to at least less than 50,000. Government is taking efforts. My effort, write and see. Let's see. Let's read it. Nikshay Vikshay name is in it. Please remember the effort. Prelims can come. It's efforts. Remember TB. How does it happen? What are the medications? First, science and tech. Clear? Clear, everyone. Okay. 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 अब हम भी चलते हैं ठीक है दिस इज वट आई है मिलते हैं फिर ऑन द अदर साइड बाय सारा क्वेश्चन आशा सर इज योर नेम गिवन टू डिफरेंट प्राइवेट एंड 
or government organizations for job if you appear in the interview but do not clear it acha ha yes now no it is not given ups is broader mechanism if you opt jab aapne form bhara hoga so there is a option to opt to reveal the marks once you uh, if you reach to the inter- level of interview then they release a list of the candidate who appeared for the interviews and any institute private or government they can pick your name and can ask you to come to their interview it's a mechanism 2016 17 ke baad aa chuka hai but abhi itna popular nahi hua hai jaise kuch organization hai aapki jo government bodies hai bhel sel jo bhi hai they often take from the people if you appear for interview unable to clear upsc you can get second advantage in some psus and government private bodies they can ask you because you have already completed mains and prelims so they ask you ki aa jao aur dekhte hai ki aapko kata tumhe ya job mil jaye mil jata hai but abhi itna popular hai nahi par hai option aapke paas theek hai sir so did you opt for that option or not are you asking me yes i did opt for a reveal of the marks okay sir ऑप्ट कर लो अच्छा है मैसेज करूंगा सबको ऑप्ट कर लीजिए जॉब मिले ना मिले ऑप्शन अच्छा है ठीक है वेरी वेल